Hey everyone, welcome back to Widget Wisdom, your go-to place for mastering Flutter and Dart. I'm your host, and today we are diving deep into one of the most essential topic in Dart collections. Especially, we will be discussing lists, sets, and maps in Dart, and how they can power your Flutter apps. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to use these collection efficiently. along with some key methods that make working with them easier so let's get started let's start by understanding what collections are in dart collections are a way to store multiple values in a single variable think of them as containers for data where you can hold multiple items together dart provides three main types of collections lists sets and maps these collection help you manage data efficiently in your flutter apps whether you are dealing with a list of users a set of unique id or key value pairs for settings so let's start with the list a list is an ordered collection of objects list in dart are similar to arrays in other languages where the elements are indexed starting from zero let's start by creating a simple list so for that come to the dart pad or if you have any id downloaded then open that and come inside the main function and here first create a list and add its element type as int and then name this list as numbers then here add square brackets because in list elements are stored this way then here add few elements like 1 2 3 4 and 5 then let's print these element by adding a print statement and then adding numbers Now if you save the code then you can see in console we have our list getting printed. Now assume a case where you want to access some specific element of the list. So for accessing that element you just need to add the square brackets and then the index of that value. Let's say here I have added 2. Now if I will save the code then here you can see in console we have 3. because at index 2 we have this three value in list always indexing start from zero so this is the zeroth index this is the first this is the second and so on so forth now if you want to update any element of that specific index you can also do that by adding numbers and then that index and then the new value now if you save the code then you can see at index 2 we have value 10 because we have assigned that value to the second index now let's say if you want to add any element then you can use numbers then dot add and then the element so this element will be added to the end of the list so up until now we have seen how we can add number at specific index or how we can add the number at the end of the list now assume a case where you want to add the multiple numbers to the list so you can also do that by using the add all method of the list so add that and then inside it add the list and let's add the number 7 in 8 now if you save the code then you can see we have 1 2 10 4 5 6 7 8 8. so our this list is behaving as expected as we wanted Now let's say you want to remove anything from the list. So for that you need to use this dot remove method of the list. So add that and inside it add the number which you want to remove. Let's say he from here I want to remove this 3. So I have added 3. Now if you save the code then you can see in the console we have 1 2 4 5. 3 is removed from here. Now let's say you want to remove anything from a specific index. so you can also do that by using remove at method and then pass the index now in this case the third index value which is 4 will be removed from the list so save the code and you can see we have 1 2 3 and 5 4 has been removed from the list so this is all about the list now there are few other method which you can perform like let's say you want to check that any element is present in list or not you can do that by using contain method of the list so let's say here i want to check that if number 2 is exist in the list or not so here i have added dot contains and then 2 now if you save the code then it will give true because our list will contain number 2 so up until now we have seen the dynamic list 
like you can change its length whenever you want you can add new elements you can remove any element from any index there is also a special kind of list in flutter in which the length of the list is fixed so for that to create a list of type int and let's name it as fixed list and then add list dot filled and then the length and then the value so in this case a list will be created which will have the length of 5 and their default value for each index is going to be 0 so now let's print this list now if you save the code then you can see we have a list which will having 5 element now let's say you want to add any element in that so let's say here I have added 4 into this fixed list now if I run the code then I'll have error which will say unsupported operation add because in the fixed list we cannot add element at runtime so this was about the list now let's talk about the sets so a set is an unordered collection of unique items unlike lists sets don't allow duplicate elements so this means in set you cannot add duplicate elements all the elements should be unique let's see this by some practical example so here create a set of type string and name this as fruits so for storing the value in set we need to use curly braces so add that now let's store few element to this set so for that here i'm adding apple or banana and orange now let's print this set so for that here add the print statement and then fruits now if you save the code then you can see we have our fruits set is getting printed now let's say you want to add a few element to your set so for that here add the add method and then let's add mango to this set now if you save the code then you can see a uh, mango is added to our set so this is how you can add new element to the sets now let's say you want to remove anything from set so for that add dot remove method and let's remove banana from this set now if you save the code then you can see we just have apple orange and mango banana has been removed from the set now let's say you want to check that your set contain any element or not so for that add the contains method of the set and then let's check for banana now if you save the code then you can see we have false because we have removed the banana from our set that is why we are getting false here now let's change this banana to mango now if you save the code then you can see we have true because our set is containing mango sets also have some special operations that make them useful for tasks involving unique data so for that let's create a new set named as tropical fruits and inside this add few elements like mango and papaya now here create a new variable as all fruits and here add fruits dot union then tropical fruits now if you save the code then we have false so please change this to all fruits now here you can see we have all the fruits getting printed because we have used dot union operator so dot union operator combine these two set now let's assume a case where your one of the set have duplicate element uh, like your tropical fruits have orange and your fruits also have orange now if you save the code then you can see we have orange only once because this all fruits is again a set and set is the collection of only unique items now let's say you want to show the only common items of the set you can also do that by using intersection method and now if you save the code then you can see we have empty list because we have nothing common in our both two sets so let's make few element common like here I have make banana as common element on the both sets now if you save the code then you can see we have banana getting printed because banana is the common element of these two sets now let's say you want to print the difference you can also do that by using difference method now if you save the code then you can see we have apple banana and orange because the difference method will help to print only element that are present in your first sets so in our first set we have these three elements and these three elements are getting printed now here let's say banana is available in both the sets 
now if you save the code then we will only have apple and orange because banana was the common element so banana has been removed from the first set now let's talk about the maps so a map is a collection of key value pairs and each key in a map is unique but the values can be duplicated so let's see this by a some example so here create a map in which key is going to be string type and value is going to be int type and let's name it as grades and here add few elements like math is 90 science is 85 and english is 88 so here we are storing the score of a student now here let's first print the grade so add the grade and print now if you save the code then you can see our map is getting printed now if you want to access any special element from the map you can do that by using the key so here i have added the key add science now in console i'll have 85 because science key store the value 85 now let's say you want to update the score of any subject you can also do that by adding the key and then adding the new value now if you save the code then you can see uh, science now having 95 value because we have updated that so 95 is getting printed now let's say you want to remove any element uh, so for that you can use the dot remove method and then add the key which you want to remove so here i have added science now if i save the code then i'll have null because our grades map don't have any key related to science so it's showing null now let's say remove this key and now save the code then you can see we only having math and english score because we have removed the signs from our map now let's say you want to check that any key is available or not in the map you can do that by adding dot contains and then key and then add the key name now it will give true because our grades map containing the science key you can also add the check depending on value so for that you need to use dot contains value method and then the value so here i'm checking that value 88 is available in the map or not so now if i save the code then i'll have true because the english subject is uh, holding the value 88 so this is how you can manipulate our maps now let's create a list of numbers and set of fruits now let's look at some common methods you can use across lists, sets and maps to manipulate your collection more efficiently. Now first let's see about the for each method. So for that here add numbers then for each and then this will giving us a number so add that and then what we want to perform we just want to perform the print operation so add print and then numbers so this line of code will going to print our numbers list five times now you if you save the code then you can see our numbers list getting printed five times because this numbers list holding five element and this for each method will going to iterate this numbers list for the each element so now let's say you want to print only numbers then just here add numbers so this number is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So you can see we have each individual element getting printed. Now let's perform this operation on sets. So for that here add fruits then for each and now we will have a single element as fruit so add that and then print this fruit. Now if you save the code then you can see uh, each individual element is getting printed. Now let's see how we can do that on map so for that add the grades then for each now we have a map and it will having a key and a value so here it will give us the two entries subject and grade you can name it anything now let's print them so add dollar subject and dollar grade now if you save the code then you can see we have individual element and their value is getting printed so this is how you can perform iteration operator on the collection now let's see some other methods so let's say you want to 
एड अ स्पेसिफिक ऑपरेशन ऑन ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ योर नंबर्स लिस्ट यू कैन डू दैट बाई एडिंग नंबर्स देन डॉट मैप सो दिस डॉट मैप विल गिव अ सिंगल एलिमेंट सो इन द नंबर्स लिस्ट सिंगल एलिमेंट इज अ नंबर सो एड दैट एंड देन एड नंबर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू नाउ इफ यू प्रिंट दिस डबल्ड देन यू कैन सी वी हैव टू फोर सिक्स एट एंड टेन सो टू इज मल्टीप्लाइड टू द ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस नंबर्स लिस्ट सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन परफॉर्म अ यूनिक ऑपरेशन ऑन ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ योर लिस्ट नाउ लेट्स से यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन एट स्पेसिफिक इंडेक्सेज यू कैन यूज डॉट वेयर मैथड विच विल गोइंग टू हेल्प इन परफॉर्मिंग ऑपरेशन एट स्पेसिफिक इंडेक्स सो हियर एट डॉट वेयर नाउ हियर लेट्स एट द कंडीशन सो हियर आई वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म एक्शंस ओनली वेयर वेयर द नंबर इज कम्प्लीटली डिविजल बाई टू सो हियर एट नंबर देन परसेंटाइल टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इफ यू सेव द कोड देन यू कैन सी वी हैव ओनली टू एंड फोर बिकॉज टू एंड फोर इज कम्प्लीटली डिविजल बाई बाई टू सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन एट स्पेसिफिक इंडेक्स नाउ लेट से यू वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूस दिस लिस्ट reducing means combining all the elements in a single value so you can do that by adding dot reduce method then specify the operation so this will give two elements so add that and then we just want to add them so add a plus b now if you save the code then you can see we have 15 because we have added all the element with the each other so this is how you can perform reduce operation so That's a wrap up for today. We covered three main collections in Dart: lists, sets, and maps. You learned how to create and manipulate them and when to use which collection. We also explored some common methods to make your Dart code more efficient. Collections are at the heart of data management in any programming language and Dart's implementation is simple yet powerful. So, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to Widget Wisdom for more flutter and dart tutorials